Hi, do you have, do you have, um, you have to have a mask. Do you have, uh, candle wax? No, sir. Who might can, can handle I candle wax? I have no idea. Maybe Hobby Lobby. Maybe Hobby Lobby. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, studies have come out saying that the masks actually do so more harm than good. in order to be served in our store and for you to be in here. So you'd rather be a slave? Absolutely. Every oh, okay. day of my life. You'd rather be a slave every day of your life? Really? That's interesting. A slave. My God, huh? And that's what we have to put up with. Hey, where you guys been? Thank you. Thank you for all of you guys who have asked him where I've been. Uh, I've been taking a break, a long break, eight years out there on the street. And I didn't realize how hard I was working until I stopped doing it. And then I tried to make this video. Oh my God, I'm, I put a lot of work and effort into this. And before we get into anything else, I want to uh, ask you guys to, if you want me to start doing videos again, that uh, I have lost uh, four-fifths of my income because I haven't been able to go out on the streets. They, my byline is on the streets. I've taken the streets away. And uh, if you don't control the streets, you don't control anything. And right now, the left controls the streets. And it's sad. And uh, the way things are, I, I don't have protection when I go out there. I have my own protection. I don't have bodyguards. So if there are no people roaming the streets out there other than the leftist idiots, uh, I'm leaving myself pretty vulnerable. Uh, that being said, I need help uh, and your support. I have got tons of merchandise that I was selling out on the streets there that uh, I just, you know, it's just sitting here collecting dust right now. And uh, if you guys want it, hey, this is it. I have got tons of uh, Trump hats. Right, different styles, uh, you name it. I got camos, I've got reds, I've got pinks, I've got you name it, uh, uh, Trump hats. So if you want a hat, if you want a flag, let me know. I've got double-sided flags, good quality, so you can put them on flag poles. So I've got the one-sided flag, so you want to do banner, hang them in your window. Whatever you can do that. I've got tons of uh, bracelets, right? That, of course, if anybody wants a hat or a flag, uh, I'll just throw in bracelets and bumper stickers uh, as a gift um, because I need to get rid of this stuff. Otherwise, it's just money wasted. And if you can go out there and want to display it, fine. You know? But uh, it'll be sad if I just am sitting here with several hundred hats and, you know, 50 flags and I can't do anything with them. So uh, my email address is, uh, you know, badassuncleSam76 at gmail.com contribute through PayPal or my other ways uh, of uh, subscribe star, which any uh, uh, way you would like to go, they're all in the description of, uh, of contributing and uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Keeping in mind the hats cost me on average of about uh, a little over three dollars a piece you had in postage. Uh, so, you know, if you can, I mean, and then take into consideration that PayPal would take out, uh, I think, 30 percent. So if you're going to contribute 10, I'm going to wind up with seven bucks. 
I'll send you that uh, and some other stuff. Uh, I just need, I'm just trying to get some money back uh, from this so I can have more money to put into this. I ordered a, is some more equipment so when I go out and do videos now, I'm gonna be, it's going to be me going out on this, to this, what I'm doing about going, like you're gonna see here, to the different stores, uh, and it's going to be probably a uh, point of view. I'm not having my wagon, I don't know if I go out with my wagon ever again. Uh, something else, it's a loss. But either way, I'm figuring it all out. I'm trying to do my best. Uh, we've crossed the Rubicon, we're into a new phase here. And, uh, and then, you know, in the meantime, wow, the, uh, is the mask uh, deal uh, the hill to die on, pretty much? I refuse to wear the damn thing. Uh, so I've been having a lot of confrontations since that's why I'm going to start videotaping these confrontations. I go to stores, I walk in with a, uh, a, a clipboard full of uh, studies on uh, why wearing a mask is stupid. I did see one guy call into InfoWars with a uh, is when he's forced to wear the mask, he just puts a bag over his head. I might go ahead and do that. And I put some, put some articles on the side of the bag uh, explaining how stupid wearing a mask is. And uh, that with the, you know, with my shirts that I uh, have designed, that you please go get. Uh, you can see the designs as I posted them. And, uh, Go to my shop at uh, tea, uh, Teespring, Badass Uncle Sam shop, and um, this is a good way to go ahead and, and try to express your displeasure at the unconstitutional dictates of the mask wearers, because I feel a mask and then come the virus and you know, vaccines. So. Uh, Again, thank you for all of you guys that have been hanging in there with me. Uh, I've been asking where I've been and how I've been doing. God bless you. Thank you for those that have stuck with me and have uh, been contributing uh, to my uh, different venues that have been helping out a great deal to sustain me. I have been ordering new equipment so I can uh, harnesses so I can put the cameras on my body and uh, walk around. This is, these are all expenses I've been having to go through. Plus, my computer completely crashed. That's another reason you haven't seen videos. I had to get a whole new computer and reset everything. Uh, well, a new old computer because obviously I can't afford a new you know, iMac. So that was another great expense that I had to go through and, and that was time consuming and very uh, nerve wracking to me. So, thank you for hanging in. And I wish I could say I'll see you on the streets again, but I know, no, the streets aren't there. So, God bless you. And the fight is on, folks, the fight is on. So let's get into the video and uh, I'll tag you on the end. I'm at the Lowe's and I'm going to be going in here to uh, get a few items and hopefully I won't be harassed with about wearing a mask or not. If they do, well, so I'll see if I can get out of it by, uh, you know, my bullshit. And uh, we'll go from there. And then we're going to go do some shopping at the local grocery store, which uh, kicked me out earlier in the week. Okay, here we go. Hey, this is me going through here showing how many people are wearing a mask. I, in all the stores I went into, I was the only person not wearing a mask. 
and so it gets fun. This is going at the checkout. This is where it gets kind of stupid. Wash your hands frequently. I hate these damn things that keep on telling us what what to do. They remind me of the, 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 the big screens in 1984. Oh, he's up everywhere telling you what to do. Uh, check this woman out. Just right, one, two you minutes. Remember, she doesn't notice that I'm not wearing a mask, right? Toilet paper. She doesn't, doesn't say anything about it. These stupid things right here, huh? Protection from what? Why? Why? But why? Why do I have to wear a mask? Because it's not law. Well, if the government told me to wear a, my underwear on the outside of my pants, would I have to do that? I don't know about that, sir, but that's the law. Uh, it's to, not a law. You got a mask? Uh, I'm the, mask I'm not wearing the mask, lady. Okay, then. I'm not wearing the mask. Can I share something with you? Here, read this. Yeah, I can't wear a mask. I got a medical condition. Huh? You can get behind the plastic. All right, here I am. There you go, sir. You say you can't wait. I can't wear it, man. I got a, a, a mental condition. Mm -hmm. See here, this, see this, see this here? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. Yeah. And then, then the Surgeon General said it, you can't wear a mask. Right. I mean, what are you afraid of? You got two masks on. Well, I, why are you protecting me from what? You get the mask on. What do you care about my health? Well, then what do you care about my health? I mean, do you care about my health? Is it not my business? Can I read you what the Surgeon General said? This is the Surgeon General. He said, an on an individual level, there was a study in 2015 that, uh, looking at medical students, medical, surgical, medical students wearing surgical masks touched their face an average of 23 times. We know a major, uh, major way that you get the respiratory diseases like our, uh, coronavirus is by touching a surface and then touching your face. So wearing a mask improperly can actually increase your risk of getting the disease. Something, huh? Man, you're holding up the line here. I need to get out of here. What are we waiting on?
Does it make any sense like you're wearing a mask and you're afraid of me? How does that make any sense? Linda, speak to you. Lydia, what are you, Lydia? Does it make any sense to you? Hello? Oh, can I go to self-checkout? Yeah. All right, let me go to self-checkout. They accept cash? What for? No one can answer me. Getting the coronavirus? Hi, how you doing? I have a mental condition. I can't wear one. Okay. All right. Can I get somebody to move on him so you can pay for that? Do it up front. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you have a good day. All right, yeah. Uh-oh. Come on, girl. I have a mental condition. So long, Lydia. Have a good day. We're committed to your safety while visiting their stair. All right, so that was interesting, uh, sort of. All right, the next stop is the grocery store. Okay, now here I am at the grocery store. Uh, last time I went in, they wouldn't, they threw me out and kicked me out of the grocery store because, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't wear a mask and they wouldn't accept my bullshit. So anyway, this is a different grocery store at home when I went to the last time because I really caused a disturbance in the last one. So I don't know if they'll accept me back even if I wear a mask. But um, I'll see how far I can get with getting in here without a mask. Uh, kind of obligated because I am doing some shopping for somebody else to get some things. So if nothing else, I'll have to throw a bandana around my face gonna piss me off to do it but you know if I, to, yeah, if I have to I have to but I'm gonna see what I can do give them my uh, I have a mental condition routine and see if I can get away with that but here we go on another another stupid mask adventure of this insanity that is going in down and see how many people are actually kowtowing to this crap So good. Nobody met me at no face Nazis met me at the door. Here we are now. Uh, I, I, so here, where, where are the full body bubbles that we're going to guess we're going to see soon? But this is it. I mean, this is what they're going to do. They're going to go ahead and. Uh, when people get tired of wearing these masks, they're going to come out with a vaccine and say, oh, you can, you can put the mask down if you just go ahead and uh, take the vaccine. Then it'll be, well, 
shows your papers or your tattoo or your medical card where you uh, you can get into the store or even have a job or get on the bus or get into the Uber. So and this, uh, this kid was the only other thing, the person who saw him that wasn't wearing a mask. And the guy just walked by without wearing it, you know, his mask down around his neck. Just stupid. This is just absolutely stupid. And, uh, you know, luckily in this grocery store, nobody gave me any crap. It was like, you know, I got to walk around. You got a lot of looks. Like, you know, I was a leper or something. Like, oh my God. Here's one of the looks. Who? The look. All right. Yeah, and then it gets back into the thing you know, to check out here. You know, the worst thing about wearing those masks, I can't get to see a pretty girl's face anymore. <laughs> well, that went without incident, thank God. Last grocery store I went into, they gave me all kinds of hell. They, would, they wouldn't let me in the door, and then I'm, I must have spoke to three different managers. Try to get them to answer questions, like pulling teeth out of a gorilla. But, see, I went without incident. Isn't that nice? No incidents. That's the way it should be. Keep a mind in their own business, going about the day. Of course, I do believe I might have been the only person in there without uh, not wearing a mask. I'm. Uh, could be mistaken, I'll probably, I'm going to go home and look at the video, but uh, I don't think, if I'm not mistaken, I was the only person uh, not wearing a mask in that store. So, golly gee. I'm going back into the uh, same lows I had trouble in the last time. Uh, this one uh, went smoothly. I wasn't in there long, so I was just in and out, and uh, a nice, this time a nice little chat with the, uh, with the checkout. So, uh, I don't know how long the city is going to go on, but You gotta fight it. I mean, if the government is gonna fight it, we got to. I uh, can just see it getting crazier and crazier. That being said, let's get into it. No. Uh, I can't wear one. I have a mental condition that keeps me from wearing one. Thank you, dear. Just a Say what? Yeah, camera? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's recording me? Well, I record everything. These days, the way things are, you know, I mean, you got people getting, you got a people, a, a guy got shot the other day because he was wearing a mask. Got shot. What? I mean, because some guy got out of raid at him because he wasn't wearing a mask. And you see, shot him, shot him. Yeah, they got, they had some words. The guy got in shot him. People get beat up. I mean, this stuff is ridiculous. Look at this. It's the attorney general who even said this is unconstitutional. If you look, if you go on online and try to find a medical science study that says that prevents virus, you won't find it. There's no scientific reason whatsoever to be wearing that mask. It doesn't matter of fact, it hurts more than it helps. If you look in here, right? This is the who that says, you know, it's, it's better for healthy people not to wear a mask. 
because it cuts off your oxygen level. I mean, this is nuts what they're asking us to do. This is, look, this is the Surgeon General telling us right here. Read that last sentence. What does that say? What does that say? Yeah, just yeah, just read that and then go down there. Where's, where's that say? I think everything is, anything is not safe. Well, well, then we take our risk, don't we? Mm -hmm. I mean, but why should be, we be forced to wear something mm -hmm. that there's no scientific evidence for us to be wearing it? Mm -hmm. So what are they going to do next when the vaccine comes out? Are they going to say, you got to take the vaccine or you can't work here? Will you do that? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. This is called medical tyranny. When you get home, look up something called lockstep. It'll blow your mind. Can you remember that? Lockstep? Lockstep. Look that up. Ten years ago, they planned what's going down. God bless you. That's it. I, uh, I've had other confrontations. I tried to film, but, you know, this all being new, uh, to me in this in this yonder uh, they didn't come out so well but some of them were pretty crazy much like the very first clip that I had on this one uh, and then people are getting in my face about not wearing masks and what it's stupid and I really don't know what's on about Trump why he's keeping Fauci on uh, Given mis mixed messages about the uh, mass, I maybe because he was caught up in believe this fraud to begin with. I you know I got caught up with it to begin with too until I started listening to some of the doctors and nurses and healthcare professionals I was talking to out on the street and they <laughs> quickly convinced me that this is bullshit. This is all a hoax. And, uh, you know, if I can find it out easy enough, uh, you know, just talking to people on the street, I, you would think that <laughs> the President of the United States could have figured it out. Or, and the more you look into uh, Fauci's uh, history, if you haven't, I highly recommend looking up Lockstep, the Rockefeller Foundation uh, conference from 10 years ago, uh, Future Scenarios, uh, for the technological and international development and then there's lockstep and, and uh, it's very scary because it pretty much spells out exactly what's going down right now on their scenario of introducing a virus and locking down the world's economy in order to uh, bring about the new world order and so it's all hitting the fan this in conjunction with the uh, false flag uh, protests that are going on. Oh, I'm telling you, it's, uh, you know, the burning of the churches. I mean, it's it's full-fledged worldwide communist takeover right now. They're trying. Um, and it's perplexing to go out there and see how many people are wearing the masks. Uh, even the attorney general, to uh, to his full credit, uh, in Louisiana here has come out and mentioned that the governor's uh, mandate to wear a mask may well be unconstitutional. It is. Uh, so there is some pushback, but it takes more than, uh, we can't count on anybody else. Uh, you have to be the one to go out there and push back. Yes, it takes effort, but our forefathers died in order for us to have the freedoms we have willingly just given up without a fight, without a whimper. And uh, we shouldn't do this. We shouldn't do this. We shouldn't just, you know, piss on their the blood they shed. 
they, they gave their lives for us to be able to be free. And the mass says you're not free. There's no credible evidence out there that a mask uh, does anything but harm you. And it is a sign that you are a slave. So please get them a shop, buy a shirt. Uh, remember that I do have uh, a ton of stuff for sale. So, you know, the hats, the flags, please. Um, as I said, pick out what you want. Uh, if you want a pink one, a blue one, a red one, a camo one, you want a flag, combination of all the above for each item, please. Uh, at least a minimum of 10 bucks would be nice. And uh, put your, send me your address and what you would like and, uh, to, and I'll get them to you. Uh, ASAP, I'll send them out. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Help me out. And uh, I'll go out there and do some more battle scene videos here for you. All right. God bless you. And hopefully one day you can see you back on the street.